Hi, I'm Conrad from Conrad P. Wood Turning. So the plan for today's video is to turn a hollow form out of this piece of iron bark. I'm probably only going to use about, I don't know, maybe 10 centimeters worth or 15 centimeters worth of this log to make the hollow form. And I'm hoping to keep it um, a natural edged um, hollow form. So I'm gonna have a little rim on the top where hopefully I'll have some of the bark. I'm not too sure if this bark is actually gonna stay on while I turn it because it looks like on some sections there's actually had uh, so there's some borers which have eaten through the bark and it looks pretty fragile so I'm hoping it won't sort of just break off when I turn it and if that does happen well I'll just sort of have to improvise and come up with something else to do with that natural edge anyway without further ado I'll begin by cutting up the piece I want and then we'll get on the lathe Okay, so after cutting this, um, the bark, some of the bark just broke off. Um, the borers have gotten through to it, and the bark's obviously not just going to stay on when I turn it. It's just going to um, break off, and it's only going to create more dust. So I've decided that I'm just going to take all the bark off before I turn it, just to make it easier. Go. Okay, so I've removed all the bark and I've mounted the um, piece of iron bark on the lathe. Um, just a very quick word before I get started. As you can see, I'm actually turning the log sideways and that means that the grain is running like this on this end and then this end grain here. So that means that there's going to be a lot of stress on the tool when you're turning that end grain part there. So this is why you should never ever use a, a, um, a spindle roughing gouge um, in a situation like this where you're rough turning something and it has end grain. You should only ever use a roughing gouge to rough out a piece of timber when the grain is running in that direction and you're not turning any end grain. So if you are in a situation like this, it's best to use the bowl gouge because it's designed to um, uh, cut through end grain and it's much more sturdier because it um, has a round tang and it won't... Um, bend as much, it won't snap. So it's a lot safer to use a bowl gouge. I'm going to be turning at a slow speed to begin with at about 600 RPM. Turn the dust extractor on. And I'm good to get started. Okay, so I've uh, roughed out uh, the hollow form, or most of it at least, and I've started to shape the bottom a little bit. Um, I'm going to put a tenon on this end, so I can put it, reverse it and then put it in the chuck, which will go over here, and then this end will be the top of the hollow form. I'll just end, uh, finish tidying up this area, then start to clean up this uh, tear out right here, and start to shape the upper section of the hollow form. 
We'll go ahead with that now. Okay, so now I'm just going to put it in the chuck. Just like that. Okay. Okay. Looking good. Now, um, while I just finish shaping this section here, I'm just going to keep the tail stop here just for some extra support, just in case, because it is quite a hard wood. There's going to be quite a bit of um, pressure and stress on the timber, so just for some extra support to help also remove any vibrations and all that sort of stuff. So that's looking good. Let's turn it up a little bit. Okay, so I've thought about it. I think I'm going to change the shape of this hollow form a bit. I think I'm going to make it, rather than like sort of a round sort of hollow form, I'm going to sort of make it so it's much thinner at the base, sort of has a bulge maybe about two thirds up that then starts to maybe come in. That, that's my idea. I'm just not too sure um, that the shape I've currently got will end up looking that good at the end. So I think I'll just sort of experiment a bit with a bit of a different shape. Okay, so now I'm just going to drill a depth hole in the um, hollow form so I can start hollowing it out. I'll just put a piece of tape here on the um, drill bit so I know how deep I've gone and uh, so I don't go too deep. So I know when to stop. And yeah, I'll just go ahead with that. Okay, looking good. Now it's ready to hollow out. Okay, so I've um, removed the tailstock so it's out of my way. 
and I've got my holing tool ready to go. Um, because it's going to be side grain, I'm going to just start with a slower RPM to begin with, and if I'm comfortable with going at a faster speed, I'll um, increase the RPM. Okay, so um, I've hollowed it out. I'm not going to hollow it out too much because it's quite a shallow hollow form. So I've only hollowed it out a little bit. Um, I'm, yeah, I think I'm just going to stick with that depth. So now I'm just going to tidy up um, the uh, outside of the hollow form. Uh, get rid of this tear out here. Um, and then apply a finish after sanding. Okay, so now I'm just going to move on to sanding. I'm going to be starting at 80 grit, then I'm going to work my, up, uh, my way up through the grits all the way to 400, and then I'll uh, apply a finish. Okay, well there it is. Just clean up the bottom there, and it's complete. Okay, so uh, here's the end product. Uh, I think it turned out okay. It's just a shame that I couldn't have the natural edge like I, I wanted to, because the bark um, had all become fragile because of the borers that had eaten through it. But um, I think it turned out okay. Um, I didn't hollow out too much because it's quite shallow and I didn't want to go through the bottom. And it, it gets quite hard to get towards the sides of the hollow form, especially when you're um, turning side grain. But I quite like the look of the rings here and the dark red timber. I think that looks nice. And the wax finish um, seems to work nicely with this timber. And the contrast of the sapwood with the heartwood is quite nice. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, please consider giving it a like and commenting below. And if you want to keep um, up to date with my future videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And until then, I'll see you next time. Take care.